difference between a fake and a faint is the fake is considered to be done with a tool and the faint is more considered uh, with a body part. So for example, a fake could be with your lead hand jab or your, your lead fist and you're faking out. Or with your rear hand cross or your rear fist and you're going to fake. Or it could also be with one of your legs. You bait and fake with a leg or with your lead leg. Off of a round kick or it could be off of a foot jab. Uh, lifting that knee up to show that tool, either a kicking tool uh, or a punching tool. So again, it could be with your lead hand, for example, like a lead hand jab, you fake it out, or a rear hand cross, fake, or with your rear leg, lift, to bait them, or lift your lead leg. Okay, you're trying to bait them to get a reaction. Fake and face are, I believe, underutilized, and the key is to get a reaction from your opponent, which hopefully will open up uh, other tools, more power tools that you have. Make sure with your fakes of the punches that it's actually uh, significant enough to draw a reaction. So for example, this really isn't a fake, but if you extend it out about half the full extension you would your normal punch, then that's gonna get more of a reaction than just a little flick of your hand. So make it believable. So again, on these punches, about half the distance what you would normally throw to really generate a reaction, uh, they really believe something's coming. Come. Same with the kicks. Okay? Not just lifting your leg a little bit, but lifting it up and really showing them uh, your leg so their eyes will get distracted and hopefully look at that tool. And then again, that opens up other areas and other avenues for you to attack. With a feint, more again, we're considering a body part. It could be, for example, your shoulder. Okay? It could be with your head. Okay? It can be with your hip. Those are, those are three primary ones to faint. Again, it's to bait somebody to get them to react. So again, it could be with your head. You just nod your head at them. You could faint or faint with your shoulder. Or you could faint with your hip. Okay. So again, with your head, your shoulder, either shoulder, lead or rear. With your hip, as though maybe they're going to think you're throwing a kick. So again, head. Lead shoulder, rear shoulder faint, or rear hip faint. So again, with your head, a lead shoulder faint, rear shoulder faint, or a rear hip faint. Okay? Tools that will be utilized for your face. A lead hand punch, rear hand punch or cross. It could be with your rear leg, lift that leg up to fake them, or lift your lead leg up. To fake them. And that could be more outside for round kicks, or you come straight up. So it's like you're going to throw a foot jab, so the foot jab just lift the knee up. Like you're going to throw a foot jab again to get a reaction. So the fake is with a tool, a punch, a kick, uh, and a feint is more with a body part, fainting the head, either shoulder, and a hip. And the key to these fakes and feints are to get a reaction from your opponents, to bait them, to set them up uh, for a more powerful tool, which could be a punch, kick, knee, elbow, even a shot. Hello everyone, Bruce Lombard here, owner of Lombard MMA and creator of Lombard MMA Fit. I'm hopeful this instructional video is helpful in your learning and your future application of the technique. Please use the comment section below if you have any questions regarding this technique or about your martial arts training and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Check out LombardMMA.com for hundreds of more instructional videos, more home fitness workouts, nutritional tips, motivational quotes training tips, and application strategies. Please subscribe to the Lombard MMA YouTube channel where you can get the most recent updates and new videos as they are posted. Thank you for training with Lombard MMA. Hope to see you back again soon.